Hey guys, Axel Jeffries here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about asking how I keep in shape for racing and so on. So uh, I thought I'll come and show you guys. We are pit fit training. This is where most of the, the racing drivers train. And uh, it's a pretty fun and cool place. So I hope you guys enjoy it and maybe you can pick up a few things. Come on in. This is the first thing we do when we start training is we stretch and warm up uh, to prevent injuries. Uh, after doing a few stretches with the trainers, we usually come with this because you know we just use the resistance to, to warm up all our muscles. We usually do a lot of upper body stuff, so it's pretty good. So this is actually one of my favourite uh, things to do at PitFit. It's called the DynaVision board, uh, also known as the D2. It basically tests our reaction time. Uh, as you can imagine, driving at 200 miles an hour, your reaction has to be super fast and uh, you have to make the right decisions. So it's really good. It's also good with hand-eye coordination. As I said, it's, it's probably the most fun because we compare ourselves to the other drivers and we try and beat their records. The one part of our body that we have to work out a lot, uh, more than most sports, is our neck. When we go through corners, we experience sometimes five, five to six Gs, which for those of you who don't know, it's basically five times your, your head weight plus your helmet. So it can be really tough, especially in an hour long race. So we do a lot of other you know, stuff on, for our neck. We use this a lot, this hydraulic pressure system, and uh, it's got lateral front and, and back uh, movement, so it's really good, it's a pretty good workout, and uh, it's, it's quite fun as well. This is the Jacob's Ladder, uh, what both of these, and if I'm honest, they're the worst thing you know, we do in the gym. It's the one workout that I hate the most, and I dread it every time we come in, but it's really good, um, you know, it works out our arms, our legs, really good for our cardio. So this right here, this is called the Wawa. Basically it's a bamboo stick and we attach kettlebells to it with uh, elastic bands. It's really good because it creates an unstable load and it works really small muscles that you, you wouldn't usually work if you were just doing a, a dumbbell press basically. Um, I feel the burn after a while but it's all worth it. We use this occasionally, not that often. Uh, it's basically try and climb the, the wall using these and you can put it in. It's a really good uh, lat workout, bicep and shoulders. This is the battle ropes. It's a bit of strength endurance. Uh, you, really, you really feel the burn in, in, your, in your arms. It gets your heart rate up. It's quite a good workout because when you're in the car, you don't necessarily feel a heavy load all the time, but it's a constant workload on your arms. So, so this simulates it quite well. This thing you might not know, but I, uh, I actually was a professional boxer. I, uh, you know, I have to choose between boxing and racing, no, no, I'm joking. Boxing um, is really good for, you know, just cardio, lots of explosive bursts, and um, I like boxing. I think mentally it helps me a lot, you know, when, when you're tired to keep on fighting. I have a proper MMA fighter that comes and trains me. Unfortunately, he's not here today, otherwise I would have shown you guys some cool stuff. by the guys here at PitFit. It's uh, probably one of the best things to do because it really simulates what you do in the real car. Uh, it's a steering wheel and it's got weight on either end. We would hold the load for about three or four, about three to five seconds on each side just to simulate a long corner where the car is really loaded. It's, as I say, it's the best thing to do because it's exactly what we're going to experience in the car. Um, it's basically hitting the tire with the hammer. It's a full body workout, more specifically towards uh, your shoulder, your back, and your core, which you gain a lot of quarter pass when you're racing. And the best thing about it is uh, when my training gets a bit cheeky, I can take a swing at it. <laughs> so one of the other things we also do, it's, uh, it's called the Robo Pong. Uh, it's really good for hand-eye coordination. The machine basically throws more that you really fast, and uh, we have to try and do it. Uh, it's, it's also a pretty fun workout. Uh, it was just a small insight into the kind of training we do. Every day we do different kinds of stuff, sometimes cardio, sometimes strength, sometimes mental training. Um, but I hope that answers a few guys, a few guys' questions. Uh, I'll hopefully upload some more videos so you guys can have a look and uh, every day when we do different stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep working hard at it because you know, that's what we have to do uh, if we want to win races. And um, you know, I'm going to keep pushing and hopefully the next video you'll see me in a car. See you later guys.